no matter the sport, anytime you get to a final, oftentimes there's that feeling out process between the two teams. I don't think that this feeling out process will be about feeling each other out. I think it'll be about both teams going after each other. Um, for sure with us, um, we're not going into this game to sit back. We're not going in this game to, to be cautious. We are going after them 100% from the start for the whole I, game. I want so much for everybody who's been a part of this club from the fans to, to the people in the front office to the to you know Fernando Ruiz and and his son who have been with this club from day one I want so much to be able to, to lift that trophy for them in every sense this season. It's been the best year the competition has enjoyed in recent memory, and it culminates here in a steamy night in the Midwest in front of a fervent sellout crowd with a final that offers the prospect of New York Red Bulls claiming a first major trophy in their history or of Sporting Kansas City winning a third US Open Cup in the space of six seasons. Remember the journey that got us here. Yes. Two home games against two rivals, we kicked their asses. We went on the road in Boston, Tough place, Cincinnati, tough place, we got the result. When the game gets tough tonight, remember those results. Remember how we got here. Second thing, as your captain tonight, I promise you I will give everything I have for this game. And I know, I know that all of you will give everything you have also. And when I look across the field, you guys should all know that we have each other's backs. Yeah, boys, come on! All in on three. One, two, three! We have got potentially an excellent US Open Cup final as the players stride out amid smoke and noise. Sporting Kansas City under the stewardship of Peter Vermees and his opposite number in charge of the New York Red Bulls is Jesse Marsh, a four-time winner of this competition as a player. We are all set to go at Children's Mercy Park in Kansas City. To start with, there were 99 teams. Four months later, there are two. Phil Hubbard. Turned on here for Gerso. And that's a very solid piece of defending. Kamar Lawrence. By a power only as far as Kleschian. Comes out to Adams. Now Davis, Sinovic in with the challenge. I thought the effort that everybody put in tonight was, was 110% there. I asked the guys before the game to, to look across at each other during the game to, to know that, that, each, that every other player had each other's back and, and to give everything they had. And uh, I've never felt like... Uh, I never felt like my teammates had my back more than ever than, than tonight. Wheel. Mike Phillips to Christian. And now Tyler Adams. To get Tyler Adams, Sean Davis, uh, Mario Escobar, Aaron Long to, to come into an environment like this, to play in a cup final at a young age, to gather that experience, it's going to help us in, in the short term and in the long term uh, as a club and in these guys' careers. I thought they were all pretty brave. They weren't really phased by much in a tough environment, so yeah, I'm very proud of my teammates. Back to space and time for Zussi. And there's the header and the goal, and it is Latif Blessing. Uh, Zuzi, Zuzi put a real good ball in. Uh, it just kind of got over Aaron and in front of Amir. And, uh, you know, he had a powerful header on goal. Um, you know, I think that's a play where you just got to credit them and you know they made a nice play simple as that he's on his own the man from Cape Verde what, and the goalkeeper has the answer what a save absolutely nobody in sight 
Look at the run from the 18-year-old kid, Tyler Adams, just to throw off Gerso, but Ryan Mara coming up big to keep this at 1-0. Sometimes the numbers don't always tell the story, but in a lot of categories, you see more shots, more possession. A lot of the numbers favored New York except the scoreline. Yeah, I think that's what makes it even harder to swallow because we did play very well. Um, we were all over them and just, you know, ended up on the on the short end of the stick. So that's what makes it frustrating. And, you know, I think at the same time, you got to give Kansas City credit. They're a great team. <laughs> team beaten that night was Jesse Marsh. There's Wright Phillips and the goalkeeper came and committed. And Wright Phillips is saying, well, we must get something for that, surely. We were unlucky just not to take uh, more advantage of situations tonight because we created uh, many opportunities. Something for that, surely. Um, and yeah, if you can get a goal at the beginning of the half, then obviously all the momentum changes. And at 1-1, all of a sudden, everything starts to move in our favor. It's fail Harbour, it's Shaloui. And Daniel Shaloui has scored what may be the clinching goal. But even at 2-0, our guys never uh, weren't faced. Still, we created some big chances after that. So uh, our team pushed. They, they gave everything they had to each other, to the game. Down well with home supporters. The shot from Verone, right Phillips. It may just be that New York Red Bulls are still in business here. As, as the game went on, they were they were done. We were just pushing the game so hard, uh, and we knew that was going to happen. It's just unfortunate that we gave up the second goal. Thirty seconds. He's in. Oh, oh, and right oh, Phillips. That has to be. Ike Power is the defender. Referee's gone to his pocket. And the card is yellow. It all comes down to this. It's Felipe. You get the one goal back in stoppage time, and then, well, but then a, a late rally at the end. There was that sense of enthusiasm and energy that maybe you guys could pull off a little bit of a miracle towards the end of the game. Yeah, this competition for us has been you know, a, a few late goals. I'm not going to lie, I had a feeling that we were going to get another one, but it just wasn't to be, I guess. You, you obviously know the history of the club, and we, and we got so close, but, you know, it's more, you know, you got to feel bad for the fans. Like, they come up today, I was sure we were going to win this game. You know, I had no doubt in my mind, man. you got to feel for them. You know, we're here, we're still trying, we're still plugging away, so hopefully we can bring them something else. You know, we've got the rest of the season to go. Some important games coming up, you know, we'll try and get to the MLS Cup final. It's not really a time for talking, okay? But I'll say this. I'm, as pr I'm so proud of you guys, right? And although you're not champions, my God, you played like champions. You played like champions. And I saw a lot of guys grow up tonight. Sit down for some time. Honestly, I saw a lot of guys grow up, play like men, in a tough moment, in a tough place to play. A lot of guys I felt like grew up in a big way tonight. Big way. Okay? So the only thing that when I watch this game and then we wind up not coming up this short at the end is it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time, guys. It's painful right now because the, the, the trophy, the championship, it eludes us, but it's only a matter of time. We're building something really special here, and this is a special group, and it's going to come, okay? It's just going to have to wait a little bit longer, and we're going to have to fight a little bit more, but we should all be incredibly encouraged by being the better team, coming to this place, outplaying them, and unlucky not to walk away with more. Unlocking not to walk away with me.